The North Rankin complex is the cornerstone of the offshore production system that supplies the Karatha gas plant. Following a re-evaluation of the risks posed by met-ocean conditions, a decision was taken to deconstruct and remove the drill derrick on the North Rankin A platform, which was no longer required and posed an unnecessary risk to the facility. Planning for this complex activity began in September 2013, with the final module lifted clear in October 2014. We took a decision very early to get um, Vertec involved and not involved in the field but involved in the office. We knew we had some good um, contractors, structural contractors in AEC, um, but we needed the people who were going to be doing the work to actually have some input into how the work can be done. So they spent a lot of time in AEC's office, along with TW as they were, um, in AEC's office looking at how the structural engineers were planning on deconstructing this drill derrick. At the end of the day, everybody owned, not just the structural engineers owned it, but the Vertec owned it, TW owned it, and we owned it as a group, as a team, to make sure that we could deconstruct it. We would have our, our planner, and we'd sit down with uh, Vertec and, and Woodside and uh, agree, agree the plan and look at the challenges that we were, can, um, we were facing and how to best go about that and deliver the work scope. That planning around letting people know really allowed us to look at where are the risks, where, where is the, the possible safety impacts to people, to plant, and what can we do to mitigate those, those issues that we came up with. When you're working at height, a critical uh, hazard that you have to manage is dropped objects, both small, which present a hazard to personnel, and large, potentially, which could impact uh, hydrocarbon pipes and vessels and lead to a release. So there was a big focus on reducing that risk to as low as practical uh, and ideally eliminating the risk where we could. Netting was used a lot to contain um, the footprint of dropped objects so that other people could work elsewhere on the platform. Um, we also put containers on the skid deck to provide another barrier for larger dropped objects so they couldn't get through to the wells. Uh, and also scaffolding uh, protection around other vessels and, and pipe work. The concept selected by Woodside uh, met all the requirements of the project. It meant the platform cranes didn't have to have their booms extended and it minimised disruption to normal platform operations and maintenance and it was a safe way to deconstruct the derrick. Yeah, we certainly found working with project teams that early interaction and engagement is, is crucial both for um, them and the project to understand um, the current operation and operational priorities, but also for us as uh, the receivers, if you like, to provide input and, and communicate uh, our plans for the facility, simultaneous operations, and our priorities for how we would like to see that work done. So we decided early in the piece that we'd set up a test facility to enable us to test all of our bits of equipment when they were hooked up together before we went offshore, but also mainly to allow the uh, rope access people that were going to actually have to drive the HIAB to get used to the constraints that they were going to be working in offshore. And so we set up a, uh, a mock-up derrick structure um, so the guys could familiarise themselves with the kind of conditions they were likely to find on site. Um, and we could really drive home certain um, safety and technical components of the project so when they arrived on site they were ready to hit the ground running. And during that time as well we sent down some of our safety personnel um, to watch what they were doing just, and they were able to point out some practices that they were doing in the Henderson facility that wouldn't be acceptable offshore and thereby starting to bring their thinking up to offshore implementation and also the kind of focus on safety that we required of them. So the preferred method in the end was a, a high up crane, a hydraulic arm essentially, that could be installed within the existing tower structure. The advantage of that was that we could reach you know, the top parts of the drill derrick from within the drill derrick, confine all the lifting operations within the, the drill derrick again, minimise uh, our dropped object risk, use the drill derrick itself to, to reach uh, and work at height. And then I think we're also flexible to changing the method of lifting through the course of the project. So we started with this high up crane, but as soon as we got to a height that uh, the platform cranes could take over and work more with the conventional lifting methods and teams on board, we switched to that as the lowest risk, safest option.
One of the real pinch points of the project was the dual crane lift where we used the, um, the east crane and the north crane together to lift up the, one of the modules. Um, it took a lot of convincing through the business unit and, and through Woodside to, that, that we could actually do that dual crane lift and we could do it safely and carry it out safely. There was a lot of concern around the uh, infrastructure that was underneath the module when it was being lifted um, and, and actually a lot of concern around actually just carrying out the dual crane lift because of the coordination that's required between the crane drivers. So there's a lot of mitigation, a lot of planning and, and pre-works around the, uh, the, the activities and the sequence of the activities, trying to minimise the amount of, uh, of handling and, uh, and lifting that we were doing, uh, just to get away from that, that uh, hazard of, of potentially dropping something and impacting the, the wellheads. The uh, biggest factor of safety on this job has been the exclusion zones that have been laid out, keeping people uh, well away from uh, drop zones, containers that have been put down on Skid 9 to protect the wellhead areas. We worked very, very closely with the um, lead services technicians offshore. They were comfortable to do it and we worked with AEC who did all the lift plans. We went, went over the lift plans with the LST who would be in charge of the dual crane lift. Um, he reviewed them very carefully. They were in the end very comfortable with the lift. And so that was a real pinch point day for us on that day when we did that dual crane lift. In the end, the actual lift took around about 10 minutes, it was a lot of work for 10 to 15 minutes worth of activity, but when that was down and on the deck and safe, I think everybody just went, that's great, we've done it. It went back to um, King Bay. Um, we, we deconstructed the top 20 metres, um, essentially stick, stick by stick, uh, and the bottom 20 metres, which was four modules, um, in, in modular for fashion, and they all went back to King Bay and uh, they all went to the scrapyard. Highlights, uh, been engaged again at ver a very early stage. The constant uh, communication uh, and empowerment by Woodside to, to really a, a fact change and drive things. And obviously it was a huge achievement uh, uh, getting the job done safely. A lot of pre-planning, a lot of satisfying job. We got a lot of input from Vertec during the detailed design which I think gave a, a much better result. The highlight for this Derek deconstruction is obviously the two crane lift, but the height of the lifts, uh, the size of the lift. Also noteworthy was uh, the fact that we did a stack up test onshore with the higher crane and the teams that would operate it. It's a new piece of kit for the Northwest Shelf. Woodside puts a very high focus on safety. You know, you're gonna get the support from Woodside to do things the right way. I don't expect anyone to take any shortcuts. Early engagement of the contractors and early engagement of the implementation contractor as well as in Vertec really, I think, was a standout for the, for the job. I think it was a really well integrated project team and that was a, a key factor in successfully delivering the project.